Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at this new Ant Man Marvel Legends figure. The only Ant Man figure that I have in the collection is this first released movie figure, and we'll take a closer look at that later on in this video. And yeah, I definitely needed an upgrade for that reason. Unfortunately, I missed out on the second figure and it looked really, really good, the second movie figure. Unfortunately, it is a wee bit more pricey on the aftermarket and so I've never really went to pick them up. And so when this figure was revealed, I jumped on it. I pre-ordered them straight away. I thought it did look really good from the images. And so he's finally arrived and I wanna take a closer look at him here on the channel. Before we do though, guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of Quantum Mania. I wasn't a big fan. I, uh, I don't think my expectations were quite met. I thought it was very average at best. But I do definitely need to give it another watch. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of the film. While you're down there guys, if you could do me a massive favour as always, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. And let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at this new Ant-Man Marvel Legends figure. So normally here on the channel we'll take a closer look at the packaging that the figure comes in but for whatever reason when this figure arrived I opened them straight up and started taking some photos of them and I threw away the box without even thinking so I don't have the box to show off, it wasn't really anything special, it's just a typical newer windowless Marvel Legends packaging, if I can find some images I'll throw it up on the screen but um, here we have our figure and let's take a closer look at some of the things that we get. We get two interchangeable hands, uh, for his right arm we get this pointing hand which is pretty cool, uh, I'm sure it's kind of just similar to the Captain America pointing hand that we've seen in the past. We get this fisted hand, uh, there's a more relaxed hand ported in at the moment and then yeah just a fisted hand ported in the other arm. So yeah, a couple interchangeable hands and an interchangeable head sculpt and this is one of the reasons I needed an upgraded Ant-Man figure because the first movie released figure is maybe one of the most inaccurate Marvel Legends going about. What is this? Why has he got an open mouth area? I don't know if that was maybe meant to be an initial costume design that they changed before the film was released or if Marvel Legends just thought that that looked better for a toy. I have no idea but Thankfully, we'll see this later on, I'll swap the head sculpts over. This head sculpt actually looks really good on uh, this body and it fits on fairly well. So, I'll probably do that. I've had this figure out on display for since I've got him, he's always been out on the shelf. And so I think I'll do a wee head swap and just have him with the more accurate helmet on his body. And it works really well. So, I actually love this helmet. Really nice texturing going on at the top there, really nice sculpt, it looks good all over, the paint's really nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked with this head sculpt. You can see the eyes just slightly behind the plastic there which is really nice and I love the colour of that plastic as well. Overall, I think this is a really good Ant-Man head sculpt and it's definitely what I was looking for in an upgraded Ant-Man figure. And then we get the figure itself. And I have to say, I think this thing looks really, really great. Uh, when the promo images were released, as I said, was really wanting an upgraded Ant-Man with the more accurate helmet. But I was also wanting a really good Paul Rudd likeness. And the promo images were a bit weird. It looked like a good Paul Rudd head sculpt, but it looked like something was a bit off. And I have to say, getting this thing in hand, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I think this might be the best likeness to Paul Rudd. That second movie figure was really, really good and that's why I wanted to pick that one up. As I said, was a bit more pricey in the aftermarket. I think this one's better. I really do. See when you catch this thing at some angles, like, it looks insanely good. Um, yeah, I, I love this thing. I think this is Paul Rudd, man. This is Paul Rudd in six inch form. It is awesome. Um, the hair is really nicely sculpted, good colour, and yeah, that face tech has really paid off on this one, I think. Really accurate Paul Rudd head sculpt, and I cannot complain at all. 
yeah love it let me know what you guys think of this head sculpt down below the rest of the costume is really good as well i mean i have to say I, i'm actually a bit surprised sometimes these movie marvel legends just aren't that great there are a couple things i'll mention but for the most part yeah absolutely love it this thing looks fantastic overall the costume design and um, from the movie i i don't know if it is my favorite version of ant-man's Ant costume but regardless i think marvel legends have nailed it in this figure form i mean it looks so good from head to toe all the texturing and the sculpt going on here is gorgeous man honestly so so cool to see you can see the sculpting going on the neck there we get some shoulder pads and this is actually from the back plate which i think is really cool a lot of the time marvel legends kind of skimp out on the back of the figures i mean i wouldn't be surprised if i opened this thing up and none of this had paint on it but we we get that this time around marvel legends have given us some nice detailing going on in the back of the figure we can see that texture is still running through the figure nice paint all over the silver and the red and as i said it goes up onto the shoulders there something really weird is this like can i i mean that this has to be a defect right that's not movie accurate it looks like someone's got like a stanley knife and just went whoosh, and it's not been me i've not even dropped this figure so this is straight out the box it's got this kind of mark on the back that looks like it's been cut with a knife but yeah just a small thing i noticed uh, when playing around with the figure it is very minor i hadn't even noticed it for a while but yeah definitely worth pointing out what is going on there um rest of the costume though looks fantastic the side of the arms here we get the gauntlet kind of plates uh, the silver going on with the red and the black the texture and the red areas is just so so nice looking and we get it all over the place i mean not one bit of this figure has been skimped on i love the kind of chest bit here the belt looks really good the pads going around on the hip look great all the paint's really accurate uh, just kind of same going on in the arm here it is pinless as well which is just it always gives the newer Marvel Legends that wee bit more oomph that, you know, the, not seeing any pins. It just makes it look a more, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say expensive. It just looks a bit more premium. That's the word. That is the word I, I need. Uh, the pinless figures make for a more premium look and it definitely pays off on this one. The legs are slightly less paint going on, but the texture is still there. The sculpt's still there. This thing is great and i'm absolutely stoked i wanted an upgraded marvel legends ant-man and this is perfect this is exactly what i wanted and if i remember rightly i think this was around the 23 pound price mark it wasn't the more pricey 30 pound 28 pound newer marvel legends figure we're kind of keeping it standard not much accessories but interchangeable hands interchangeable head yeah big win for me i think so to compare our new Quantumania Ant-Man Marvel Legends figure to some others, first up we have the first movie Marvel Legends figure and I still like this figure, I mean it does look really nice, I think the costume's pretty solid, not as much texturing going on but still a really nice sculpt overall, especially for an older figure, this thing must be nearly 10 years old right? Nah, nah, must be a lot less than that, <laughs> must be a lot less, Ant when did Ant-Man come out? It must have been about 2015, 2016, I would guess. I'm not actually too sure. Let me know down in the comment section below. But, I mean, this thing looks quite old, to be fair. So, yeah, I might say in the bottom of the foot, actually. 2014, this figure came out in 2014. So, actually, yeah, we are nearly 10 years old then. Holy moly, man. Yeah, so this is nearly a 10-year-old figure, 9-year-old figure. And it shows, I think. I think it definitely shows the sculpts. A wee bit older, not as much texturing going on. But yeah, as I said, the sculpts there. The colours are a bit more flat, I think, compared to the newer one. But the biggest downfall for this figure is that head sculpt. And yeah, wait, what what's going on with the head sculpt, man? Really nicely sculpted, but 
it's just so inaccurate and the eyes definitely don't look anywhere near as good as uh, the newer figure that we have so let's do a wee head swap see what this newer head sculpt looks like on the first release so here we go this is it without any blue tack and um, previously when i took a couple photos i just put a wee bit of tack on there just so it was sitting a wee bit higher because i feel like it does drop down a bit see if it's sitting Mm, it's not too bad about there i mean that yeah it is sitting all right but it is a wee bit loose so if you were doing this head swap yourself i would recommend a wee bit of tack but what do you think what do you think it looks like i think it looks all right on this costume definitely i think looks better than having that open mouth area that never appeared in any of the films so i'm pretty happy with that head swap let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below For a bit of an Avengers comparison, we have our two-pack Captain America Marvel Legends and the first released Endgame Marvel Legends figure, and I think he fits in really well. He's standing at what, well, would Captain America not be a wee bit taller? I'm just thinking Ant-Man, he's meant to be smaller, and Captain America, his legs are a wee bit more spread. Let's straighten them up and see, because if anything, I would say they should be about the same height. If not, I would presume Ant-Man should be a wee bit smaller and he's still standing a wee bit taller there. I think that does look a wee bit off. I would expect Captain America to be bigger but I might be wrong. Either way though these figures do look really good next to one another and Ant-Man is going to fit into an Avengers collection pretty well. For a couple of other MCU figures here we've got Doctor Strange and we've got Hawkeye. And last up, here is our new Ant-Man next to the Marvel Legends generic Hawkeye Street Thug. So the articulation on this figure is maybe its biggest downfall. Uh, I like all the movement in the head here, you can get it pivoting around really well, it's going to move all around. Um, so the movement in the head's fine, but the biggest downfall is no butterfly joints and that's really restricting the movement in the arm area. And yeah, it's a wee bit of a letdown. If the butterfly joints were there, I don't know how much it would, you know, sacrifice that really nice sculpt. But yeah, it does really restrict the movement. You can get the arm moving about that far up. It's going to go right in at the body, backwards and forwards. You've got that upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Get the uh, wrist moving backwards and forwards and it will rotate round. Same articulation in that arm there. Get a fairly well... Uh, moving the ab crunch going quite a bit forward and a wee bit back the way and it will move left and right as well and uh, nothing in the waist area get the leg kicking about that far forward 90 degrees and it will move really far back as well upper thigh cut double jointed knees and you get the foot moving backwards and forwards and it will pivot around as well And so there we have it for our latest Ant-Man Marvel Legends figure and I'm stoked man, I'm actually really surprised, <laughs> um, yeah I, I, I don't know why, I, I didn't think this figure was going to be up to much, um, as I mentioned I wanted an upgrade from that first movie release and this is definitely a great upgrade my thoughts were kind of you know any figure that wasn't going to be that 10 year old ant-man figure had to be better right so made the purchase i thought the promo images looked all right as i mentioned i thought the paul rudd head sculpt looked a wee bit off but i didn't think much about it and opening this thing up playing around with them taking a closer look i think it's great i think this is a really nice sculpt great texturing going on Great head sculpts, interchangeable hands, good price point. I'm really happy, man. So, yeah, big thumbs up from me. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this figure. As I said, let me know what you guys think of Quantum Mania. While you're down there, guys, if you haven't already, please, please, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below where I'll definitely be posting some pictures of Ant-Man up over there. Uh, feel free to hop on over to the channel page as well. There are plenty of other Marvel Legends reviews as well as loads of other types of videos so it'd mean a lot if you could hop on over there and check that out and it means a lot that you've watched this video right here so thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll catch you on the flip flop later cheers